Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exile State Comics. I'm Justin, doing a haul for December 23rd. It is New Comic Book Day. I was able to make it to my shop today, shortly after they opened, and uh, pick up my books. Not a massive haul this week. Um, I don't know, 9 or 10 books. Last week it was like 15 or something. It was crazy. Still got a couple of those to read. That's what happens when you buy too many books. You run out of time to read them before more new books come out. So then you end up with this stack of books where you're just like, crap, I got a lot of books to read. So that happens. But I hope everybody's having a good uh, holiday as it's getting close to Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas or not, whatever, it's a holiday season. There's a lot going on for you to do. So I appreciate you checking out this video. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe, and I'll do some more. and It'll be great. But um, also tonight, I believe I'll be on Twitch with Happy Box Inc. Um, we'll be doing comics and beer as far as I'm aware. We may not, but we may. If not, I'll put up a video later. Um, Alright, so let's just get into the books, and we'll get this one going. There's something. Alright, first off. The Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, issue number 2. And if you read this, if you read issue 1, you know about the massive reveal at the end. Ooh, what book do we get in here? La oh, we get Wonder Woman. We get a little Wonder Woman mini. Uh, first issue, we got The Atom. The Atom. So, if, like I said, if you saw the, or if you read the first issue, or anything, you'll know what happened and what's going on. It's pretty crazy, so not 100% sure if that's completely true or if they're just saying that. So, but uh, did I show you anything? I don't know if I did, other than the Wonder Woman thing. There's my tank. Oh, yeah. So, great, great looking book. We're going to see where this story goes. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, next is Batman and Robin Eternal, issue number 12. I'm still on it. Might as well stick around to 26 at this point. It's a much better story. I'm hoping it actually has... I'm not doing the Robin War stuff, though. So. Uh, next from DC. That's the last book I got from DC this week. This is a cover is a crazy. He-Man, The Eternity War, issue 13. Just gonna look, see if potentially. Nope, too big continued still. This book never ends. Thought it was just a story, and it's not. And it's like they just changed the title of the book and restarted it. All right, we got Shira at the beginning there. Hey, hey. So, but this has actually been a really solid book from DC. Um, a lot of their titles, you know, like with any publisher, any long-running books, there's peaks and valleys with what's going on with the story and things like that. But He-Man, through the first series, which was like 19 issues, and now we're up to 13 on this one, it's been a very solid series. I've, I've really enjoyed it. So, All right. Uh, do Independence next. I only got a couple, um, but I did not. For whatever reason, I didn't get any image books this week. It was just one of those random weeks where Image didn't put out anything that I get. Um, let's see. IDW. This is cool because I like the movie from back in the day. This is uh, The Rocketeer at War, issue number one from IDW. Really cool cover here. Um, not exactly, I mean, I would assume it's The Rocketeer. It is The Rocketeer. Whatever. Oh, cool, we get a poster. Poster. Which I'll never take out. And that sucks. Um, so it is mm, set in World War II. World War II. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, say, like, oh man, we got a ton of stuff in the back too. I don't know. Maybe it's it's a little bit of a uh, Batman, the animated series or Superman the animated series kind of feel to it, like the art style. So if you like those, maybe this is a book for you. Um, and like I said, I like the movie that came out in, I don't know, early 90s, late 80s, something like that, The Rocketeer. It was a good movie. Who was in it? Jennifer Conley. Yeah. I like Jennifer Conley. Next is Venus, issue one of four, and this is from Boom, if I'm not covering it up. Um, I looked through this, haven't read it yet, but uh, I looked through it, and this is a crazy, crazy looking story. Um... <clears throat> so some good art here what I, like I said I don't have a clue what this book's about 
but I was, you know, kind of on the fence about it, and I was looking through some new stuff that came out, and um, somebody at the shop said that this one was really solid, and they really liked it. So, if someone at the comic book store suggests something to me, I, I, I kind of take them at their word, and I'll check it out, because so far, they haven't stared me wrong. So, you gotta love that, when you got great people at your shop who know what they're talking about, and aren't just like, oh, it's a good book. Now they're like, this story was great, blah, blah, you know. Based on that, I picked it up. It looks good. I read a little bit of it, and I want to read more. So, hopefully that's good. This is, um, uh, uh, it is IDW, or, I'm sorry, boom. But it's, uh, Rick Lubbard and Wang Daniel. Dan Lang, Dan Lang, sorry. All right, and next... We're going to jump into Marvel. We're going to jump into Marvel with The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number five. Now, this is crazy. That is a crazy shot. Who's all on the bus? Who's all on the bus? Um, we got some fun stuff here. Spider-Man and uh, who's he with? Um, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. Somebody help me. Help me. Through the internet, send me your knowledge. Holy crap, Mockingbird? Yes. And there's a lot more people in this one, so. Interesting. Interesting. Peter and Johnny. Alright, next. Picked up Venom Space Knight, issue number two. I like the first issue. I don't know if I liked it enough to stay on the run full stream, full time here. Um, I'm going to check this one out. If I like this issue, I'll keep going. But the art's great, but it's Venom. I don't know. I'm like, what? It's crazy. So, I mean, this art is amazing. If you're, if you're looking for something that's just, like, out of this world because he's Venom Space Knight, check out Venom Space Knight. All right, next is Extraordinary X-Men, number four. Cool Sinister on the cover here with everybody ref reflection in his jewel on his forehead. Um, so, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, all right. So this book has, has continued to be great. Um, Jeff Lemire's doing the writing, and he's killing it with the story right now. I like this one. I'm sticking on this one more so than maybe some of the other X-Men books. Um, also, just because it's Star Wars, and Star Wars is Star Wars, picked up Darth Vader issue 14. And this is a part of the Vader Down story, if anybody's reading that. Um, yeah, this is Vader Down part 4. But for whatever reason, it doesn't say anything about Vader Down on the cover. So, I heard somebody actually in the shop asking about that. They're like, is this part of this or does it not count? And we all had to figure it out by opening the book. So. Vader. Did everybody see Star Wars The Force Awakens last weekend? Holy crap, that was good. If you didn't like it, you don't like your life. And I'm sorry for you. Because it was good. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I'm not spoiling anything because I did on comicbook.com. We did a long video. Um, about it. And we also do some videos about The Expanse, new show on sci-fi, so check that out when you can. I'll leave a description in the box below. Um, next, my favorite, Daredevil, issue number two. Uh, the first issue was great. Kind of setting up. We got our backstory here. but um, And it feels like a Daredevil book. I don't... The art and everything, just how dark it is, and the grittiness of it. Um, it feels like Daredevil should from long time ago Daredevil long time ago alright the last new book I picked up this week is because in part because of Jessica Jones the Netflix series because I didn't know anything about this character before I just kind of missed her so I picked up Patsy Walker aka Hellcat issue number one and this looks like a great book. We've got Kate Leth is our writer, and Brittany L. Williams is the artist, with Megan Wilson is the colorist, and we got letters by VCs Joe Saban and Clayton Cowles. Those are the letters, yes. 
So let's take a look at this. I mean, this looks pretty crazy. It looks, it, not crazy in a bad way, but it looks really good. So I'm excited to see it. It looks like a fun book, more so than anything, I hope. So we've got a lot of color, a lot of brightness going on. Um, Kate Leth, if you haven't checked her out, her website's like Kate, Kate or Die, I think. And she's done some stuff for, I don't want to say that, but like Adventure Time or those type books. Um, something along that series. So, interested to see. Oh, and they got their cats in the back. Kate's cat, Brittany's cat, and Joe and Romeo's cats. No. That's cool. If I wrote a book, they would have a picture of dogs. Dogs. They got dogs. Um, but that is it. That is the haul for this week, everybody. Um, let's see. Comments from the last video. Just the comic feel full. And I appreciate you, buddy. You're doing a great job over there, too. I like your stuff. Let's see. And Comic Fool, sa Comic Fool says, I think I'm hanging on to Batman and Robin Eternal as well. It feels good seeing a $2.99 book in my receipt. Yes, sir, it does. Yes, sir. $2.99 books are where it's at. Even Hellcat's $3.99. Was there anything else that I got that was... Hold on. I'm looking really quick. Everything is $3.99. $3.99. 399 499 He-Man Oh These two So I got the only Batman and Robin again And He-Man The only two books I got this week That were 299 Everything else was 399 or up So I'm with you It is great to see a 299 book In your stack Or two Um and let's see, we've got a question here. What's my favorite, or what's your favorite indie book out right now? And he says, Awesome Haul as always, my man. I appreciate it. My favorite indie book right now um, would be Tokyo Ghost. And if you haven't picked it up, I would recommend picking it up. It's at issue four, so there may be a trade coming out after five. So if you just wanted to wait a month or two, there may be a trade. But um, the first issue has a lot of story. There's a lot to set up. So... If you pick it up, don't get don't get discouraged with the first issue. There's just a lot of story in the first issue, a lot of stuff to get you going. But um, once the second issue gets going, it's just off to the races after that. Like I said, we're up to like four now, and it is a very solid book. Um, I guess my second favorite indie would be Invincible, and I've only been on Invincible for 18, 19 issues, somewhere in there. I think it's like 16 or 17 issues, sorry. So, but it's become one of my favorites. So, that's what I would say is Tokyo Ghost and then Invincible are my favorite indies right now. But, there's so many good indie books out there. And as you can see from my hauls, I do pick up a lot of them. Um, but those are the ones I'm most looking forward to. And Tokyo Ghost is still new. So, we'll see that where, where that goes. I'm not sure if it's a limited run, but Rick Remender's just killing it with that one. Excuse me. So, that is it, everybody. That's my haul for December 23rd. I really appreciate you taking a look. Like I said, like, subscribe. Um, check out the description box below. I'll have some links in there for you to check out some more fun stuff. And I'll be back next week with another haul, which will probably be a very, very small haul because it's the last, weekend, or the last week of the year, and normally it's very small. So I'm very excited about that. Maybe I'll find some like cool extra stuff to pick up um, to kind of supplement the money I'm saving. Maybe, maybe not. But that's it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you picked up, what you're reading. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Also, I want to say thanks for everybody who has subbed like last week. I got like a massive push of subs, so I'm really close. I think I'm like 14 away now, or uh, 13 away from 100. And like I said, once I hit 100, I'm going to do a live show, and it's going to be, I guess, an AMA of Ask Me Anything um, type thing. So have a good one. Enjoy your holiday, and I'll be back to talk to you more. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Have a good one.